Almost 60 years ago, I was in school in suburban Toronto. And there was a kid in the class. He was a chubby little guy with golden caramel colored skin. And his name was Rafi Kavukian. What I remember most about Rafi was his voice. Even then, he was beginning to get that smoky, silky, smooth voice all of us and our children would come to know and love. A few years later, I ran into Rafi on the street with his guitar on his back, the corner of Bloor and Young, I think, Raf. He told me he was learning to become a folk singer. No kidding. <laughs> More years passed and Rafi became a star. Like most of you, we took our children to see his shows. I'd brag to our kids that I'd gone to school with him. And sometimes we'd go down to the stage after the show and chat with Rafi. Now we're grandparents and Rafi's still part of our lives. Ruby, who's sitting right over there, is learning one of Rafi's songs in her elementary school choir. And when we picked Juliet up from daycare this afternoon, she asked us to play her Rafi CD in the car. The most important thing about Rafi is that the songs he sings and the way that he relates to kids affirm the importance of children and childhood. He insists that all of our children in every country have rights. Children have rights. They're entitled to a peaceful and sustainable world. They des deserve a song in their hearts, food in their bellies, and love in their families. When children leave a Rafi concert, they feel strong and important and confident and powerful and loved. What a wonderful gift he's given to so many tens of thousands of children. So it's no surprise that Rafi established his Child Honoring Center, and it's no surprise that as an organization, the center became a member of First Call. And it's no surprise at all that Rafi is the recipient tonight of First Call's Champion of Child and Youth Rights Award. On your tables, uh, perhaps you've noticed quotes from Rafi's Covenant for Honoring Children. Before we show a, a little video about Rafi, we wanted to read you a short excerpt from that covenant. A covenant for honoring children. We find these joys to be self-evident, that all children are created whole, endowed with innate intelligence, with dignity and wonder, worthy of respect. The embodiment of life, liberty, and happiness, children are original blessings, here to learn their own song. Every girl and boy is entitled to love, to dream, and belong to a loving village, and to pursue a life of purpose. We affirm our duty to nourish and nurture the young, to honor their caring ideals as the heart of being human, to recognize the early years as the foundation of life, and to cherish the contribution of young children to human evolution. We commit ourselves to peaceful ways and vow to keep from harm or neglect these our most vulnerable citizens. As guardians of their prosperity, we honor the bountiful earth whose diversity sustains us. Thus, we pledge our love for generations to come. That's Rafi. That's our Rafi. Hello, everyone. Hi. Such a sweet honor is as dear as any I could hope to receive. I thank you for this, Adrian. I thank First Call. It takes a village to raise a coalition. <laughs> and we've got one here. This is, uh, this is my fourth time joining the festivities and the fun at these first call galas. 
And I know that the energy in past years has been one of struggle. And while there is still struggle, the energy this year feels different. Could it be a change in government? <laughs> you know, it's been uh, an amazing 40 years, this journey, this calling to work with the young who have taught me so much. I love and adore and I'm inspired by young children more with each passing month if that's possible, but it's true. I want to just take a moment and say before I uh, have a couple of other remarks to share that at my table here, there are some interesting people. There are educators and MLA and her house husband <laughs> and uh, uh, a teacher of the young um, or two. Uh, there's also uh, Laura Patrick, the admin person of the Center for Child Honoring. You want to wave, Laura? Laura's here. Um, my tour manager, Tracy Page, is right here. She travels with me <laughs> and keeps me feeling good for going on stage. <laughs> and also, my longtime friend and colleague, Bert Simpson, is here. Bert, would you wave at everyone, please? We've known each other 45 years. We've worked with each other probably for over 20. Bert runs my Troubadour Music Company, and he's also on the board of the Center for Child Honoring. And I'm just so glad that he's here and that Tracy and Laura could be here with us tonight as well. You know, when it comes to thinking about the rights of the child, let's remember that the United Nations in its Convention on the Rights of the Child, that convention that the United Nations brought forward was the most quickly ratified by member nations of anything the, the UN had brought forward internationally. It just goes to show that there's something about our duty to the child that every country in the world, except two which we won't name, <laughs> felt uh, obliged to respond to right away. Canada of course, is one of those ratifying countries. There are many provisions in the UNCRC, the Convention on the Rights of the Child, that are moving. The one that gets me the most is the one that says children have a right to know that they have rights. Will you think about that one for a moment? Ruby has the right to know she has rights. Michaela has the right to know she has rights. Stay over here, Rafi. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so when you do the work in your member organizations of this coalition for the young, you are in a way taking part in the ratification of the UNCRC. Okay? And I would invite you, I would reach out to you to become familiar if you already aren't with the conventions sorry, with the articles of the Convention on the Rights of the Child, and to talk up the UNCRC among your colleagues, your friends at school. We need to, those of us walking down the street, we need to all of us be familiar with why it's so important that children have rights. It has something to do with their dignity. It has a lot to do with their being whole people worthy of respect. So I think in closing, I'll just say a couple of things because I'm really looking forward to the rest of the evening. I've so enjoyed the speakers so far and I'm looking forward to seeing and hearing uh, our keynote speaker, Chief John. In the child, there is a love that is pure. And that pure vibration is the best of who we are. We never lose it as we age. It's right there inside of us. It's the love we were born with. It is an honor to work with children and have them give us a bit of that love that they do so, so beautifully. 
And the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yes, the more we work together, 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 the more we work together, the happier we'll be. You've made me very happy tonight with this award. Thank you.